Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. Leads. We're working closely with Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. We're working with our statewide prosecutor, our federal partners, the ATF and the FBI, and our local prosecutor, Susie Lopez. And I can guarantee you that we're going to be following up and making arrests in that case. Are you guys looking at the social media aspect? Absolutely. We're looking at the social media. We're working with our Jacksonville partners and getting intelligence on that. So uh, definitely all top of our priority. Do you believe that it's related to these two gang groups up in Jacksonville? So, so again, that's part of our investigation, but indications are that there is some type of relationship there. And is there any of those? Uh, Jacksonville gangs, as officers try to narrow down who killed a local rapper. Julio Fulio's attorney says he was ambushed at a Tampa hotel parking lot over the weekend. Action News Jack's Robert Grant reports that Tampa's police chief says the group behind the deadly shooting is likely from Jacksonville. Now the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is on alert for retaliation as detectives here are heavily involved with the investigation over in Tampa. And Tampa's police chief points to rival gangs possibly being responsible. You know, there are people coming into our community. They're not from our community, but it's happening in our community. The shooting that happened on Sunday, that's too close to home. Frustration from Tampa neighbors as their police chief says the suspect behind this weekend's violence that killed a local rapper in Tampa is likely tied to Jacksonville. The indications are that the groups all came from Jacksonville. Police say Charles Jones, known by his rap name as Julio Fulio, was gunned down early Sunday morning in a hotel parking lot. His attorney says he was in Tampa celebrating his 26th birthday. Jacksonville Sheriff TK Waters wouldn't name the groups likely involved. These groups, I won't name them. They know who they are. We're not going to tolerate any, any retribution, any revenge. We're going to watch. We're going to be around paying attention to what's going on. But during a town hall meeting on violence in Tampa, a former Jacksonville resident did put a name to the rivals. Those two gangs, ATK and KTA, which has killed them all, uh, have been fighting and shooting each other in Jacksonville for a very long time, including in a very nice neighborhood where I grew up. Are the other shootings that we've discussed gang related? Are they related to this gang at this point? That's the only one that we have tied to those Jacksonville groups. Tampa Police Chief Lee Burkhaw said in reference to Sunday morning's shooting, Fulio survived two other shootings in Jacksonville in the past three years. And beyond that, Action News Jax has covered other local shootings involving rappers, ongoing violence some in the music industry say needs to stop. And it's becoming a harsh reality. Something gotta, gotta happen, something has to stop. And so far, no arrests have been made or suspects named in the case. What are your thoughts about the glorification of violence on social media, gangs, the, the detriment to the community, uh, the danger that it poses? And... I mean, unfortunately, I, I think um, the young people think this is a game. And, uh, you know, there'll be comments about this in the comment in the statement that I make, and they'll, they, they, they make it like it's, a, like it's a video game. It's not. This is real life. So he has a mother, you know, he has parents, he siblings, probably friends. And um, they have to deal with these kind of losses. And it's unfortunate. Now the, the next thing is these groups, I won't name them. They know who they are. We're not going to tolerate any, any retribution, any revenge. We're going to watch. We're going to be around paying attention to what's going on. But it's unfortunate. It should never happen to our kids. Uh, and I, I've, I've never seen so much devaluing of human life. You know, it's like it's like it's fun and they talk about it in, uh, in, in rap videos and songs and it's just doesn't make any sense. What's your message to anyone who might be a younger person who might be you know, considering this kind of love on the streets? Well, it's it, this is not a game is my message. This is not something that we, we're going to tolerate around town. I think the media, I think the citizens of Jacksonville, I think everyone feels the same way. This is not something that's okay. This is not something we're going to tolerate. And uh, we're going to pay very close attention, so don't get involved. Stay away from the, stay away from the nonsense. You've heard some people concerned about the safety here in Jacksonville and retribution. Is that a, a viable concern? What is the police doing? Um, so I can tell you that I've made a, a several phone calls and discussions with the undersheriff and staff members about paying very close attention to certain groups that I know are, are clashing with one another. They know who they are. Um, and even though I said what I said, my bro, me and Jada Breeze are supposed to be doing a start the violence song. Wow, man, this is crazy, man. Yo, it's crazy. These young folks out here, man, is they wilding. Uh, 
Julio's, uh, he's dead. And it's crazy to me that, you know, people are really, you know, you know, they're trying to figure this out down there in, in, in Florida. And, they, and I like the way they're coming together, but it's like, man, you hate to see these youngsters leaving here like that, man. Uh, Julio's family, man, my condolences, man. Um, any of those guys down there banging, man. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta stop. You know, you guys, man. Like I said, you see the sense of urgency these guys, the the, the police department, and they're guaranteeing. When you start guaranteeing, you going to arrest some people. They're fed up, man. Citizens are speaking out. They even know that you got older guys, old men, white guys uh, that they looking at this, and they even know the names of the gangs. Uh, you've got the police, uh, the FBI, all of these different people coming in. The resources are there. They're trying to figure out, okay, you guys want to play it? Y'all want to take it there? We're, we're looking at every aspect of this. We're calling in for help. We got cities joining to try to figure out why we're having a violence down here in Jackson and all these different surrounding cities, man. And like I said, man, love our young people, but boy, I hate to see them going through it. It's something about glorification of this stuff, man, whether it be, you know, from the victim uh, when before he died, from the people who won. You know, you even got a guy that's running around, jumping around, happy that this didn't happen, celebrating right in front of the uh, right in front of the Holiday Inn where this this happened, uh, allegedly. And it's just it's tough, man, you know, to see this kind of violence happening, you know, I, I'm, I come from, a, you know, I understand what it is to be young. It could have been me. So I'm definitely not saying that this is beyond what we seen back in the days because we had these things happening. People were running around. We didn't, might not have the switches y'all had today. There was oozes and everything else being, and there was murders happening and there was drugs being sold. So I'm not going to get on here and act as if this stuff is new. It's just, it's high time that we try to figure out a way to, to slow it down, young men, black men, man, come on, brothers. Y'all, y'all really, really, you know, you out here living your best life, man. You, 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 and, and you telling everybody all your business. You, you out here with gang rivalries. You know, I, I brought that last little clip up from Say Cheese TV because it's a trip, man, how he was saying that they was going to try to get together. And who knows? Somebody in the camp could have been talking to him, you know, um, and he could have been back and forth texting. Some people might call it cap, but you don't know what God can do, man. And, and at the end of the day, I hate to see this young man lose his life. Um, the rival gang, hopefully, you know, man, hopefully this stuff will die down, man. Like I said, man, this, this guy right here, man, I know his parents are suffering. You know, they already have been through enough. He'd been shot up before this. Kind of like what, what happened to Tupac, where he was getting shot up before it. It's like God gives you a warning before it, it all falls down. But man, Fulio, man, um, it truly be missed. But they're, they, they're trying to pull out different, you know, uh, the authorities guarantee it. I wanted to let y'all know they're guaranteeing that they're going to get some arrests done about this. And they're trying to figure out ways to stop the violence down there, man. And we're in the South, bro, and I hate to see this happening down here. But like I said, it happens all everywhere. It's not just in the South. It's in the East Coast, West Coast. You see this with our people, man. People getting killed, people making songs, people doing, and it's just crazy, man. Like I said, it wasn't so blatant back in the days, but now with all the communications, uh, Barry, the, the com communication uh, uh, openings that we have today with social media and everything, you can see how it's being, you know, really, 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 um, you can see it is up close and personal now. People are dying online. People are going live and all kind of stuff. We didn't have these capabilities when I was young. But I will say this, man. I'm praying for this young man's family. I'm praying for if he had any uh, siblings, anybody in his family. I'm praying for the ops. I'm praying for all of y'all, bro. I pray to God to bless y'all to try to find and turn a new leaf, bro. Like I said, it, it, we got to stop the census killing. Um, man, it's crazy because, like I said, you guys are entrepreneurs and you have so much going for yourself. And it's just, it's a shame that the devil playing games with you and you can't even figure out how to capitalize and utilize the thing that he's giving you, man. Boss Talk 101, man. Listen, man, make sure you guys get in the comments. Let us know what you think about Fulio, about this guaranteed uh, arrest that these uh, 
officers are, are guaranteeing, and I, I can believe it because they're looking at social media, and heck, anybody can figure it out. Academics even figure it out. Anybody figures it out. And it's, it's a shame, man, that, that we're out here thinking we can get away with stuff like this and really, really putting our lives on the line and just don't care, and, and we should care more. Um, man, make sure you join the membership. Uh, I got to get off here. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me.